Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this week's English Qutbah, and the topic is Visiting the Sick. Alhamdulillah. All praises are due to Allah, Lord of all the worlds. O oh Allah, for you is all praise. We believe in you, for you are our Lord, and we believe in your angels, your books, your messengers, the last day, and in destiny, both its good and apparent bad. I testify that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, the Uniquely One, who has no partners in His oneness. We are content with Allah as our Lord, Islam as our religion, and I testify that our Sayyid, Sayyidina Muhammad wasallam, is the slave of Allah and His Messenger. O oh Allah, send your peace and blessings upon him, and upon whomsoever follows him in guidance until the last day. Amma ba'd, to continue. I advise you, O slaves of Allah and myself, with the taqwa of Allah, for verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يُكَفِّرْ عَنْهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِ وَيُعْذِمْ لَهُ أَجَرًا Whomsoever has taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will remove from him his misdeeds and make great for him his reward. Ayyuhal Mu'minun, Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, إن الله عز وجل يقول يوم القيامة that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say on the day of resurrection يا ابن آدم مرضت فلم تعودني O son of Adam, I was sick and you did not visit me قال يا ربي كيف أعودك وأنت رب العالمين and the man will reply by saying My Lord, how could I visit you when you are the Lord of the universe? قال, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reply by saying, أما علمت أن عبدي فلانا مرضا فلم تعده? Did you not know that my servant so-and-so was ill and yet you did not visit him? Then he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues, أما علمت أنك لو عده لو جدتني عنده? Did you not know that had you visited him, you have you would have found me with him? Brothers and sisters, this hadith is pointing to the tremendous uh, reward and the tremendous blessings that are to be found when we visit the sick. It is as if Allah is subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to such a person that had you visited the sick, you would have found my grace, you would have found my reward, and I would have gifted you my special favors of the blessings of closeness to me. In this hadith, there is an encouragement upon us to visit the sick, and a clarification or a testimony to the immensity of the virtue and great reward that lies in that act. The Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said, مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يَعُودُ مُسْلِمًا غُدْوَةً إِلَّا صَلَّ عَلَيْهِ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفَ مَلَكٍ حَتَّى يُمْسِيَ He said, no Muslim visits a sick Muslim in the morning except that 70,000 angels send salawat upon him until the evening. وَإِنْ عَادَهُ عَشِيَّةً إِلَّا صَلَّ عَلَيْهِ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفَ مَلَكٍ حَتَّى يُسْبِحَ And he does not visit them at night, except that 70,000 angels send salawat upon him until the morning. وَكَانَ لَهُ خَرِيفٌ فِي الْجَنَّةِ And he has a garden for him, awaiting for him in paradise. In other words, brothers and sisters, this hadith alludes to the fact that Every time we go to visit the sick for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are on a path of drawing ourselves towards paradise. And in this, we are facilitated by the angels who send their salawat upon us, send blessings, spiritual blessings and security and those blessings upon us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, as if there is a garden, a place for us in Jannah being stored, commensurate to this visit. Subhanallah. What could be more of an encouragement to visit the sick than that? The Prophet ﷺ is elsewhere reported to have said, مَنْ عَادَ مَرِيدًا نَادَ مُنَادٍ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ Whomsoever visits a sick person, then a caller calls from the heaven, تِبْطَ وَطَابَ مَمْشَاك وَتَبَوَّعْتَ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ مَنْزِلَ It says, the caller calls out saying, May you be happy. May your steps in visiting the person be blessed and may you occupy a dignified position 
in paradise. The Prophet وسلم, used to constantly and frequently visit the sick. And when he would do so, he would console them. He would give them good advice. He would lighten their burdens and remove from them their worries and difficulties. He did this by reminding them of the mercy of their Lord and the great reward that lies in store for them for their ability to bear the difficulties and have patience with the illnesses that they have. He would tell them that this is the means by which spiritual ranks and stations are attained and sins are expiated. So, for example, one day he visited a sick person and said to her, Inna marad al-Muslim yudhibu Allahu bihi khatayahu kama tudhibu nar khabath al-dhahabi wal-fidda. He said, indeed, the sins, uh, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes the sins of a Muslim through his illness, just as fire removes the dross, the impurities from gold and silver. He also used to say, مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يُصِيبُهُ أَذَا No Muslim is afflicted by any harm. شَوْكَةٌ فَمَا فَوْقَهَا Even if it were the prick of a thorn or anything above that. إِلَّا كَفَرَ اللَّهُ بِهَا سَيِّئَاتِهِ Except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expiates his sins because of that. كَمَا تُحِدْتُ الشَّجَرَةُ وَرَقَهَا Just as the tree sheds its leaves. The Prophet ﷺ also when he would visit the sick used to make much dua for them and make dua in front of them for the healing of their illness. So for example, when he visited Sayyidina Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, may Allah be pleased with him, he supplicated for him by saying, Allahumma shfi Sa'ad, Allahumma shfi Sa'ad, Allahumma shfi Sa'ad. He said the three times. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the healer. He is the shafi. And so, we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of this in the words of Sayyidina Ibrahim in the Quran, when Sayyidina Ibrahim is reported to have said, وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ فَهُوَ يَشْفِينَ And when I'm sick, he is the one who cures me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us that he is the one who cures. And the Prophet ﷺ would come and remind and make dua for such healing. Indeed, brothers and sisters, we have been commanded by the Prophet ﷺ to visit the sick, to make much visitation of them and those in need. For he said, Udul Marda. He said, visit the sick. So let us, in these times of difficulties for many people, let us be means of healing. Let us be a means of mercy. For the visiting of the sick embodies the essence of what the Prophet ﷺ was guiding us towards. For he was an exemplar of all nobility. His very character was nobility itself. And so when he encourages us to do such a thing, he's demonstrating that this act itself is an indication of the nobility of a person. And in such a way, we, when we do these things, we become people of noble character. For we are demonstrating that we are people who sacrifice their time, their efforts for the sake of others, for the sake of bringing happiness into the hearts of others. From the adab, from the etiquette of such visits, is that we do not make such visits very long so that they become tiresome and arduous and burdensome for those who are sick. But that these visits follow the adab of bringing happiness to their hearts and being um, of uh, a short time that doesn't create difficulties. And we should also ensure that these visits are following the necessarily health uh, recommendations and precautions to ensure that no uh, further problems happen. The goal is that these visits leave hope in, this, in the hearts and in the souls of those who may be sick, that they raise their spirituality and that they ease their affairs. And by these visits, we also raise our own spirituality and we also increase connections and bonds between society. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us and facilitate for us a way of doing good, make us a means of good, a means of removing burdens from people's hearts, a means of joining people's hearts, a means of facilitating healing both within our communities and around the world. And that is not something difficult for Allah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. I say this and I seek forgiveness for myself and for you. So seek his forgiveness for indeed he's the most forgiving and the most merciful. And with this comes to an end to this week's khutbah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This khutbah was brought to you by Idaatul Quran Abu Dhabi.